Hey everyone, my name is Love Agarwal and I'm a worldwide sales leader for IBM. I am very excited to share that the next generation of IBM's DB2 warehouse is now available as a fully managed SaaS offering on AWS. DB2 Warehouse is IBM's fully managed, high performance, highly scalable cloud data warehouse that's optimized for operational analytics and reporting workloads. So let's start with what's new. Well, three main areas that I want to highlight. First is four times better performance with up to 34 times reduced storage cost. The significant bump in performance with a massively reduced storage cost didn't happen by accident. Two key factors contributed. First is native support for DB2 tables on commodity cloud object storage, primarily AWS S3. Since DB2 warehouse data can now be decoupled from more expensive proprietary block storage, this can drastically reduce the cost of hosting data, in some cases up to 34 times. The second factor is support for advanced caching over S3. Since DB2 Warehouse now includes an advanced multi-tier caching layer, this significantly improves its caching capabilities. This is what results in that increased query performance up to four times better than prior generations of DB2 Warehouse. All right, the second key new thing is support for open data formats. So the proliferation of open data formats has grown rapidly, and we recognize that teams are already storing data in formats like Parquet files, we're using Avro, ORC, and open table formats like Iceberg. So now DB2 Warehouse brings support to catalog, ingest, and query open data in the mentioned formats. This enables DB2 Warehouse to expand workload coverage across new use cases and new data. With this capability, DB2 Warehouse customers can seamlessly share data across their data ecosystem, including data science tools, data visualization tools, and other data components. Now, lastly is the integration with WatsonX.data. So, DB2 Warehouse on AWS now has the ability to extend beyond just the DB2 Warehouse engine and integrate with WatsonX.data, our new open data lakehouse platform, which is also available on AWS. This means that now other engines in the WatsonX data platform, like Presto, like Spark, and others can query and access data right from DB2 Warehouse. This architecture enables the use of fit-for-purpose engines that best meet your workload and price performance needs. Okay, well that's great. So now I want to focus on why DB2 Warehouse on AWS. So again, three key factors. The first one is proximity to customer data. So what does this mean? So you and other customers have already made significant investments on the AWS platform, and a lot of your data is, is hosted in AWS data stores. But you still want to take advantage of the high performance benefits of a data warehouse that IBM provides. Well, now with the opportunity to locate your data warehouse engine where the data lives on AWS can drive cost efficiencies of, of uh, reduced data movement, as well as increased performance benefits of running your data warehouse where your data lives. The second component is the benefits around a managed offering. So, Whereas before, uh, customers and organizations would have to dedicate a lot of resources just to maintain and administer a data warehouse platform, 
Now, with the help of AWS and IBM, we take care of that. Your users simply focus on what matters most, which is building insights. AWS and IBM take care of the management, updates, and administration of the platform. Lastly is innovation. So what we get here is we get the best of IBM and the best of AWS. So as IBM continues to innovate around new capabilities with our data warehousing technologies, like the integration with WatsonX.data and making other query engines available, and as AWS continues to innovate with more and more efficient and performant ways to store and manage the lifecycle of your data, you're able to take advantage of both. Okay. So now let's talk about an example use case that can be powered by DB2 Warehouse on AWS. So as I mentioned before, DB2 Warehouse is an excellent high-performance data warehouse option for operational analytics and reporting. Its ability to ingest data in real time and support a massive number of concurrent users makes it ideal for these types of workloads. So a common example is retailers using operational analytics to improve their customer experience on their e-commerce sites. So as we capture metrics like cart abandonment rate, many users, such as marketing teams inside the organization, need to be able to combine it with other customer data in real time to create personalized and relevant campaigns for customers. So in this example, website activity data, as well as other customer data, from perhaps an on-prem system is collected and landed in its raw state into our S3 store. Now, from there, the data is available uh, for multiple users that wants to query and analyze from our DB2 warehouse engine. Now our users can produce insights in real time. But now let's say our marketing team wants to experiment with different offers using this data for testing purposes. So rather than consuming resources on our DB2 warehouse engine that's powering this critical workload, we can actually use WatsonX.data and its Presto engine to run these ad hoc queries at a much more appropriate price to performance profile. And when and if we are ready to commercialize that use case, we can simply promote that workload to the DB2 warehouse engine. So if we take a step back and we see what are we able to achieve? Well, we're able to access and query data across multiple different sources, whether they're in the cloud or in on-prem systems. We're able to take advantage of cost-effective data stores like S3, and we're able to expose that data to multiple different engines depending on the characteristics of the workload. We can continue to enjoy the same high performance benefits of DB2 Warehouse, but also now we have other options uh, to power different types of workloads using that same copy of data. So we're not copying data. Single copy of data can power multiple different use cases. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more and get started today, check out DB2 Warehouse on the AWS Marketplace.